Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Godzilla versus the Batman mech from the new Godzilla and Kong versus the DC Universe. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Godzilla versus the Batman mech suit, let's begin with Godzilla. So I'm going to start right up here at the eye. So let's go ahead and begin by drawing a little check mark shape. And then let's make a little line that's going to curve around and come up here for the eye. Make a line that's going to come up like this. And then I'm going to bring a couple little lines up right here. Next, I'm going to come up. We're going to go over and then down. And I'm going to make a little line right here for the nose. I'm going to come down here. And then I'm going to make some little bumps that come across here where the teeth are going to be. Then when I get to here, I'm just going to bring this over. Next, I'm going to bring this line down. And then I'm going to do that same thing, making those little bumps to show where I can put the teeth. I'm going to go down, and then I'm going to bring this up here. Then I'm going to come up, and I'm going to go up for the jaw. And then we can curve this down. Now, I'm going to put some teeth in here, so I'm just going to make some teeth right here by all these little spots. And I'll do the same thing here. We're just going to put the sharp teeth in here. And we'll do a few little lines back here for the back of his mouth. I'll do a little curved line here and then a line up. Next, I'm going to bring this line up for the head and bring it back. Bring this back here and down, back here and down, and then I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to make some of these lines just go out, and then we're just going to take them right down just to show where all his like detail is on his body. Then I'm going to bring these lines down and then up here for the neck. And bring this line down and up and then down and up here. Now for his arm, I'm going to bring a line that's going to come down and I'm making it kind of wiggly and bumpy. And I'm going to bring it down here. Bring a line down to a point up and we'll put a little claw. We'll make another one that comes down and around and we'll make some little curved lines. One right here. And then one right here. Next, I'm going to bring this back. And I'm going to bring this down here. Now I'm going to put another arm over here. So I'm going to bring this line around. And then I'm going to bring this line down here. I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to come up and down and curve it around for the claw. I'm going to bring this up and over. Another one here. We're just going to come down for the claw and bring it over. And then one more here and just bring it right over for that other hand. I'm going to finish off his back right there. Now I'm going to make a couple little broken lines coming down here. Now let's do his dorsal fins. So I'm going to make just some kind of curvy, pointed lines right on here. And then I'm going to make some more just really jagged, really pointy, all the way across here. 
Now we got our shape on Godzilla. We just want to add some of the detail. So I'm going to bring some lines down here and a few little lines right around here. Bring this line up and we'll just make some kind of curved bumpy lines just for a little bit of texture. We'll make some curved lines back here and a few more lines over here. You kind of bring some of these lines down and even add some extra ones in here. And even add some extra little detail lines all around here. I'm going with a few kind of more squiggly lines on these just to kind of give it that comic book feel. And just kind of adding these all over. We can even add these lines in some different spots right around here on the dorsal fins. And then some different lines right along here too. And I'm just going to make kind of like these curved broken line shapes just to kind of give it a little more of like a scaly texture on his arm. And I'm going to make some more of these just kind of curved, squiggly lines all over here. Now, our next step over here is we want to make this kind of big Batman mech suit. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start the eye. So I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down. And then I'm going to bring this down here and then up. We're going to come down. And we're going to go over and down here. I'm going to put a little point in there so it looks like it got kind of like beaten up or broken. Make another line down. One that goes over, down, and up for the eye. Make a line that comes down to a point, and we're going to go over. Bring this over, and then I'm going to curve this up. I'm going to go up to a point and down. Now I'm going to curve this. We're going to go up to a point and then bring it down here. Next, we're going to go down and in. And then this is going to be another one of those ears. So let's go up with a point and down. Make one that comes down here. We're going to go out to a point, and we're going to bring it back down. Now I'm going to come back over here. We're going to draw a line that's going to go down. It's going to go over. It's going to come up and in. There's going to be a line that goes down, over, and up. We're going to make a line down. We're going to come over and up. We're going to make a few lines coming down, almost like where the teeth would be. We're going to come out and down, we're going to go over, and we're going to come up here and connect it. Next right here, we're going to go down, we're going to come over, and we'll make a line that goes almost all the way up. Then we're going to come up here, we're going to go down, and then bring it down here. And then right up here, we're going to make a line that's going to come up, down, with a little couple points like this. Next, I'm going to make a line that comes over. We're going to curve this down. We're going to go up, and then we'll curve it back here. Next, I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to come to a point and then bring it up. We'll make another one that comes up and then down. And we're going to come to a point and down for the chest. Right over here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come over, a couple little notches in it. And we're going to come down, over, and then we're going to bring it up here like his arm's kind of swinging. We're going to bring this up, 
past Godzilla's face and down. I want to bring this up here. I want to bring this up. I want to come down and over. Go down, do a couple little detailed lines like this, and a little point here. Make a little line in here. And then we're just going to make a couple of lines that come up here. Next, we're going to bring this line down and this line over. And then we just want to add a few details onto this Batman mech suit. So there's going to be a lot that's going to be covered in here with a lot of black and everything because this is more of a comic book style one. But we can still add some details. So I'm going to add some little curved lines up here. I'm going to add a few lines that come down here. I'm going to add some little lines over here. A few little detail lines there. And a couple little like squared lines right here. Make a line that goes over, up and over, and then over again. And we'll do that kind of same shape here. I'm going to go in, down, and over. Then we'll just make some little kind of geometric shapes in there. make kind of like a squared shape with some lines coming down and just some more kind of geometric shapes across here make a little curve here another one with some little lines in here and then just some kind of more geometric designs in here for some details some kind of rectangular shapes across here on the arms. And then just some more little kind of detailed lines. And there you go, there is your drawing of a Godzilla versus the Batman mech from the new DC comic series. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.